this is a shoe shop, yes. Don't let the aesthetics fool you. I just like the color green. And the editor is lazy. Have you come into Peru's or to, um, to buy? I do need some help. Excellent. Help I can provide. You look familiar. I don't see why I wouldn't. I have been in folklore for many centuries in your species. As guardian, yes. Well, they used to refer to us Viking gods, but after Thanos, I feel it is best to hide. But with half of humanity missing, Business opportunities are available, so... No, half my collection of shoes are not from dead people. Maybe a third, but... With my prices, you cannot complain. So... What are you looking for exactly? You don't know. So you want me to be in a more kind of ASMR roleplay where I just show you every shoe I own. Hmm. Nice and simple. Let's jump into it. But as we're going to get in, let's just roll up our sleeves. You are not doing the same, I notice. There we go. That's it. Wall it up tight. If it comes up. Show off your glorious ink. <laughs> what would you like to see first? We have boots, sneakers, you Americans call them, or the rest of the world calls them trainers. Shoes? That's about it. But you want me to go through them one by one. And traditionally, to make the video as long as possible. I can do that. So, do you skate? Skate? plank of wood with some wheels attached to the bottom. These are ideal for skating. Notice the, the bottoms are very flat. Now, these are fashionable if you are a skater or just into the alternative scene. They are made by Lambretta. They are a... I'm not quite sure how I describe this color. Puke? Puke green seems... would suffice. If you are looking for something fancy, these are made by Red Band. One former owner, retailer manager. 
they have some grip which you will need to move cages but they also have a very professional look on the inside if you like flowers they have flowers Not sure what those are to say. <clears throat> now, if you are a man's man, mainly, and uh, you work for construction, you may want something like these. Dr. Martin, I believe, is the maker of them. They are. Slip and oil proof, I believe. Well, adjusted to fit around the ankle. And uh, make you look like you're part of the military if you've never been in it. Still toe capped to protect you from dancing women on your feet, or if you drop something at work, obviously. Personally, they are very comfortable but a little difficult to walk in. We have another pair of skating trainers. These are made by a company that also make automobiles, vans. They are a faded pink, brown and grey, I would say. Size 11, so all my trainers are the same size, shoes. I only go for shoes that can fit me. Yeah. Very little worn, so it may be quite useful for skating. I have plenty to show you, so. Let's go just look at my. Are you much of a runner? Running away from things counts. These are from a brand called Nike or Nike. Or I believe the pronunciation is disputed. They are grippy, a very fetching color, if I do say so myself. These were from a snappy who was running, but they were also a very low price. Green on the inside and well used. You can run for miles. We have a number of shoes by this Dr. Martin. I'm unsure why a doctor would make shoes, but I'm assuming the pay is not great in this country. Now these, these are somewhat used, but I'm up to understand that used Dr. Martins are what gives them some character. So these are Initially ink blue. They've been used for a number of years. 
and you can see that if you buy them, people will make you think that you've owned these for years. And years. And years. You still have some grip on them. But as you can see at the back, the man who wears them is heel heavy. He still has some use left in them. Possibly. I wouldn't buy them either, but a quick buck is a quick buck. More Dr. Martins. These are shoes rather than boots. They are white. The grip is still quite excellent. They've been very little use from the bottom, but from the top. It shows differently. One former female owner, seven foot tall, I believe. These may look good with. Salesman, and I could not tell you what these may look good with. They are much better with an axe. Do you have a job interview coming up? These are made by the same maker of the first skater trains. Lambretta. Still fresh smell, only worn once for one interview, which I was rejected for. And uh, they slip on with no ties. Special insoles for those with very flat feet. However, if you are requiring grip of any sort, do not wear these. My first time trying these on, I slipped up in the kitchen. Another pair of pink bands. These are designed as skating trainers, but they provide no support on said skateboard. They are a fetching coral, not pink as described in the eBay description. Still smell new despite being two years old. We cannot get rid of these. Now, there is a human company called Sketchers, which I believe one of the Cardassians advertise for. I'm not sure if it's Goldacott or Tamar. Either way, very unattractive person, which surprises me. Quite attractive shoes. Now, if you're looking to run away from, <laughs> let's say, Thanos quickly, these may be right up your street. Brightly colored, so you cannot hide, but that adds to the challenge. Very light. Uh, I 
cannot really recommend them myself because I'm not much of a runner. I'm more of a blocker. I stand in the way and relax. These shoes I'm about to show you are my favorite. And uh, it would be a sale I would not be fond of. These are also from Dr. Martin. Well, I'm assuming his very, very flamboyant brother. Multicolored. See through. quite worn. Of course I have to smell my merchandise. I need to see if they're good to sell or not. Fetish. Absolutely not. Something called gay pride. I'm not sure what that is, but I see lots of men hugging for that reason. Very nice. I wear them myself occasionally. But if you add God status to them. And um, that is my wares. Or English size 11. Why would I sell anything smaller or bigger? I cannot wear them. I am wasting your time. You may. The Viking over there is a size 10. She looks good. Why would anyone wear that small? Well, thank you for your custom. Even if you didn't pay.